In today's video, this is about to be something that you have noticed about what these cars does. Last time we did the Track Stars version, but this video's episode is going to be about the Hot Wheels Accelerators. It's up next after this. Here are some all cars that I have here since I got them at the store, but some of each cars are that I don't have it don't have it was um was one of each team techos, the team metal maniacs, team silencers, and the enemies of the racing drones. But um I'll get I'll decide to get one more get more later, but I'm not sure if I don't collect usually Hot Wheels to get all that stuff of information. But I have never done this one before, so it's kinda like a long time to get everything done as I do everything and stuff with that time. So these models, they are they they come out from a long time ago, at long years ago. Then uh, when you see the uh, when you find the Accelerator brand that they that they have and they come out, that means you have the collection of each Hot Wheels models of Accelerators. You probably may not know what it will be, but you might determine which one. Do they have first? Starting off from here, we have is a visual of Team Techos that are lined up as the brand name that comes from the blue. And these models are definitely kind of a, a lot of good acceleration boosts as the name that comes up with the symbol that they have is right there. Once they put Team Techo down, they have that symbol that re represents the name of each model. Perhaps I don't know any of her as well with the Team Techos of that before, but there's a lot more to get that information and done. Next up on my right is the Team Metal Maniacs. Now these are only, uh, they're, they're red, and with all the Metal Maniacs, they come up with a better idea with the information that they have. Examples like each models are definitely coming out so metal and then the metal maniacs are just like a hard heavy car duty that they notice what it is as you guys already know this was definitely not the only enemy that was attacking this was the only versing model or something like that we're not sure what this will be but um we find out what that information will look like on the left, on the top, the enemies. It's the racing drones. Racing drone models are definitely quite common to make things where they are bad guys. They are also villains. If you guys know that the racing drones are totally the, uh, the darkest model that they face, that means they get a lot more attention than they, than they had with those cars by Team Tacos and the Metal Maniacs. But not for Team Silencers, as they already have completely get out of out of the air, and they are always speeding up from each as itself. So with that model in mind, like example, that each cars are definitely get there fast. And if you notice from the movie from the racing drones, you know who will be the villain. It might be a lot more unstoppable than you think if it's going to happen again. But it looks like it never turns out to be the only one that decides on each model. And finally, on my right, is Team Silencers. These chrome vehicles, they could be definitely be gray and purple. Except the other models, they're definitely quite popular with the same. And with almost everything that comes out to be the best shape model that ever has. Right now, here's your starting lineups. Starting from Team Tyco. This is the lineups for all of each cars that will be doing the accelerators. Here we have is the Team Tyco part. Starting off is Shikini. This is the only color I have in the gold, but I don't have the same blue kind of car if, I, if it's the only same color I, as I believe. Could be Team Tyco. Here we have Battle Spec, the third favorite car. One of my favorite, Drift Tech. High voltage. This came from the five 
um, from the track lane starter set in five pack synchro spectite this ultimate famous uh, car of Star Wars that I used but also Acceleracer 2 that could be good and Bass Line not to be confused with the only color so with the fusion with um, Bass that something was going on um, like the like the fish but Bass Line is definitely like a truck that you can understand about this one from this kind now in the racing drone sections I only have some couple numbers that I have but I'll have some more uh, racing drones to put in if I do well not to believe me I don't know if I'm going to take it from here but here we have is Audio 2 only snow color I don't know what's, what's up with that color Audio 3 that looks like a similar color from the racing drones Audio 6 Audio 8 Little tr truck, a little high up here, and RDO9. This one's definitely in blue too, but those two, those three, nine, eight, and two, that's kind of like a little different, but those two in green, that's like a similar color from its original version of the racing drones. But right now, we're just gonna have to uh, leave with that as it stands. You could probably tell that which one is. Now from the Team Metal Maniacs, only four cars are each in its lane. Jackhammer, also known as the Pork Chops vehicle. Riveted, definitely a blue. I'm not sure what's the difference between Jackhammer and Riveted. Howlback, and, your, and yours truly, Mark, Spinebuster. Probably it could be too long to go for a loop and launch, but you may never find out. We're going to find out what will it be. And lastly, the Team Silencers. We have this Exilium. Not Excelium, but it's only Exilium for sure. Carbide. Chrome Racer. Nice car. Cold Flight. The one that works with the glow-in-the-dark wheels. You could see it underneath here. Might glow up in the night. Iridium. Technidium, Technetium, I'm not sure, and Nitrium, definitely showing that off with the better sight. Now, here are the four cars that are going to be doing. Since I'm not going to make this video too long, I will do some good setups here. And here's the track I just created. So here's how this was going to work. All car, one car will go to the top of the lane, come down from here. Do the loop and launch. I have it right now on the board since I haven't used this one already. Then it will come around from the curve to the booster. And then it will go right in and grab the car to the loop right here. That's going to be where uh, the loop is coming from. Here we have and then another curve, two side curves here. And it will come up to a booster and to the loop. The booster. And crazy thinking, another corner loop. Oh, I don't think uh, nobody's going to know what that is. It's kind of tricky to look for, but we'll see what happens here. And then we'll come down from the track. And here I have some three triple alley knockdown right here. And um, this is what I'm going to be doing. Now, one of each cars will knock out those... Um, those uh, alleys right here, and then we'll make it explode, and we'll flip it up in the air. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be crazy to see. Or do one of each accelerators come down to the curve? And here I have this setup: the Angry Birds launch setups with those minion pigs right from here. All three guys are like watching from the road and seeing which car it is. Well, the one thing we're looking for is Red Bird, but unfortunately, I won't count that as a mark here. And here's the difference. One uh, track is underneath the um, the uh, the peg right from here. But on the other hand, this track is on the side, so you don't have to worry about putting it in as you um, as it gets stuck right here. Once you have a track connector, because the other one only sends out with the um, track setup um, connector needs to be uh, uh, unconnected first then you slide it in 
Then you put it in uh, right at that time if you want you put your car in a spot where uh, where the bird will fly out and then uh, knock down the uh, pinion pigs. And the difference in this here, this is on side. So you don't have to worry about uh, disconnecting the track. It will slide right through. Let's see if it works. No problem. This is better than to use this one here. After they come around, right for the minion pigs, and then the finishing part will be this hoop shot. I know nobody has heard about this hoop shot, but I think I'll have to do that one here. But we'll find out. Don't worry. If one of those cars make the make the shot, then they know they made it all the way. If they miss it, you know. That's what happens. All right, let's go ahead and uh, boost them uh, cars up, and let's get ready. All right, everything's uh, boosting up, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and start the Team Tekko first. First up, we have a Shikini, only Chrome version. I'm just gonna be doing it for just uh, time. Now, some of you all may know that the cars may not be successful to uh, make it all the way, but they have a couple more chances right now. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scoop this back a little bit, so uh, so it doesn't get, so the car doesn't fly off the track from this section, so you don't want to see me coming down from here and there. I could squeeze by just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do is just hold it from this angle. I have an iPad set up here, so you get that right. Don't look at my camera, please. Come on, man. You don't want to see me in a, uh, in a star movie. Just like Mark does. He doesn't want to get in the camera, too. Well, don't, you don't have to do it anyway. But if you want, if you want to, well, just uh, get the car, I'll just move it out of the way, just in case. So, yeah, we'll do that for just a couple of times. And if he doesn't make it all the way around, we'll give him a couple chance. Here we go. First up from the Team Techno. Oh, booster may be too much, too light. Let me give him a big boost. Shikini says he wants to, uh, he does think that the, the one booster is not enough, but maybe two will work. Wee! Definitely flies off the track! Second attempt! Uh-oh, he flies away! Might need to put some supporters on, just in case right now. Just, uh, like this one here. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold him off for a second. I'll put it on the side right now. I don't want to look. I don't want you guys to take a look at the thing because you know why? Every time, every time I do that game, this is not gonna really get that count. Come back, Chicky. Last try. Last try. That's it. Three times. Goodbye. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll mark, uh, mark this guy's location. He was right here. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to try to uh, go from this angle. Now I want to move the car out of the way so he doesn't get hit by the loop. All right, Shikini, you'll you'll do better next time. Next up from the racing drones, we have is the RDO2. Looks a looks like a neon cold racer. I'm sure he might be fine. Whoop, I almost slipped. Didn't mean to do that. Racing drone, he could be good. I don't know about that tail right there. He could get slapped up from uh, behind a loop and launch. If this doesn't work, then you know what happens. Let's see if he works. Wow, he's flying! Score!
We'll put Oreo 2 here in the finishing line. He just, he makes a perfect attempt right now without any crash. What a nice run. All right, let's move on to the, um, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, um, those team Metal Maniacs, um, I'm sorry, we're going to have to come back with you. Uh, next up, we have is Exilium. I don't know about this car, but he could be high up right now. Some cars might be too high to uh, keep a carry, but lower cars, they fly out too soon. I don't know about this one. He might be off the track, but we might have to find out if he gets there. Say, go! Yeah, flips off. Two tens left. Oop. You see them definitely did get past through these two loops here. He might wind up with Shakini. I don't know. He could be high up too. Oh. Yeah, he's kind of like sliding, he's kind of like flying up in the curve from the spot here. That's where those two were, where is that? One more try. And he's off the track. Goodbye. Put the marker right here. This is where Exidium was at. I don't know why I get this one here. I made this only creation to use this one. But it looks like yeah, you can always build it from here. If you guys have this one, you might only work out with the snow. Work out in the winter time. Could be real could be okay. I made this one. That's pretty neat. Alright, let's go back to Team Techo since we don't have enough uh, Team Metal Maniacs. Let's move on to the next car. We have is Battle Spec. Pretty nice car. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. Reset on the reset the kicker. Here we go. Oh, gets a little bit fancier here. Nice two loops here. Looking good. Let me make sure. Uh, just make sure everything's pinched together. Make sure the curve is clear. Change here, flare, and then I'll uh, make some adjustments. Second attempt. Oh, battle spec! Oh! Oh, almost! That was a good run right now. <laughs> And all the skates are just thinking that battle spec might be off the hook. That was very close. We'll give it one more try. And then I'll reset it afterwards. Final attack. Hold on. New mark from here. This is where he was at. Set. Go. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Not, not enough speed. Well, that was a good run for Valspec. What a nice run for uh, for this guy to get from here. But he doesn't want to go to that shot. How could that be? All right. Let me make sure I get reset in, and I'll get by. And the uh, next car is on its way. All right. Back on the racing drone section, we got is Ardio Three. Only one car from the racing drones made it all the way. The Team Techo, he's not quite enough to, he's almost there. Battle Spec was so close to the rim, almost scored a count. But, um, but this only one car made it from here. We're going to see if RDO3 joins the party. Everything's good. Okay. Here we go. Ugh. Oh, scrap. Hey, hey, why did you get fancy over there? Reset the kicker. Two times left. Oh, yeah, he's on a bad angle right here. That hurts. Oh. 
can't forget about that one. Uh-oh, Luke's coming apart. Let me, uh, let me fix it right now. Sorry, I, I won't make it too long. Don't judge me. All right, come on. Come on. I had a hard time uh, pressing it together. There we go. Okay. Good to go. One more time, RDO3. Can you make it? Yes, he scores and joins with RDO2. Two cars made it through for the racing drones. Right now, let's bring back the Team Silencer. Next up, Carbide. Only a low car, it looks like an Indy car right now. Let's see how well he can do. Forgot to reset. Oops. Can't forget about that one. Only two racing drones made it all the way. Okay, locked and check and check. All right, all right, Carbide, give it a shot. Oh, smacked up. The reason why the lower cars don't usually work on the booster because is the booster is grabbing him too high from the car. And all of a sudden, he gets crashed by that loop here, right here. Some lower cars don't work really good, and they come off flying too fast. Other cars, like uh, like uh, Cerchini right down there, has a hard time trying to keep it back into its pace. So this, he's not doing really well as uh, as Carbide did. Oh, Carbide first. Team Silencer moves on to, and he finishes. That's all I can say. Three cars made it through. RDO2, RDO3, and Carbide. The first Team Silencer car made it through. Now, now let's try this one out from Drip Tech. Only this wheels were just a little bit slinked off the back right now. But only my favorite car? I don't know about him. We'll have to see if he works. We're gonna see how he gets there. If he passes over Battlestick, he might he might, uh, he might go for the win. He wants to go right to the hoop. Let's see if it works. Go. Oh, ow, he got a headache. Oh, man. He's a little bumped up already. I don't see any marks on him. Nope, nothing yet. Two, two more legs. Go. Oh, he did the same thing. I wonder that track right here. I think this. I think this part. What happened here? That's. This is where the uh, the loop was uh, standing. It's still. But unfortunately, I think that track on the loop. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's coming apart right now. Let me fix it. Make sure he gets it safe. Okay. 
Sorry about that, don't let, I don't want to see that meat. Come on. Here we go. I'll give you another try because I did not uh, fix that trap. Oh, off the curve. We're gonna mark. We're gonna mark it from here because this is where the, he was at the food. Excuse me, the food sir. Last try. And yes, Drift Tech makes it all the way around the circuit, and we have another finisher. Four cars made it through. One from Team Teco has made it all the way. Same thing with the Team Challenger. But these two, Team uh, oh, Racing Drones definitely made it through. Looking good so far right now. Now, uh, there's only like, a, I already took out the one car from here. We're going to go ahead and uh, switch. Um, we're going to switch it up. I'm going to skip the uh, Racing Drones section. Now, from Team uh, Metal Maniacs, Let's go ahead and try out Jack Hammer. He might be skidding up from underneath. I don't know if this long car is going to work up from this angle. He could be slowing down right now. I might have to see what the problem is. Hopefully he better not be sliding off like, uh, like Screamliner. I don't know other cars that have long bodies. Here we go. Oh, he's always out of gas because of all of a sudden he's so long, sometimes he doesn't do good at all. Yeah, we know that because he's not doing really good. Some longer cars definitely don't work with the loop. When I tested it out, when his front wheel doesn't even roll, he doesn't work for me. Uh, from the, from the loop of the angle right now. And watch it again. Only the front car at a time, but the back wheel doesn't seem to be But the back wheel doesn't even roll on, on the track. Well, unfortunately, the Jack Hammer, he might be having a problem. I don't think he's not going to work around with the track. It could be too long. Oh, he got stuck. That's it. You're done. Have a good day. This is where he was at, the loop. Forgot the mark of uh, this guy. Okay, whatever. Now, let's go ahead and try out the Team Silencers. We have this Cove Light. This Cove Light could be really tough. Plastic body, metal base. And I'm not, I'm not sure if he's, I'm not sure if he's gonna pick up the pace. Let's find out. Well, he ran it for two loops. Unfortunately, he got stuck right here. I'm going to mark it from here. Oops. Do it right here. Reset the kicker. Second chance. Yeah, he's running out of gas all of a sudden. He needs more power. Last attempt. Oh, he got hit. Oh, oh come on. Hold my leg up. That's it. You're going to park right next to this curve here. Have a good day. Now let's go ahead and go right back to the Team Teco spot. Let's see what we have here. Let's try out high voltage from the five pack. Let's see if he can do it all the way across without stopping the trap. 
High voltage. Three, two, one. Ow! Got a little hit. He almost went right next to the chicken. He says, what up, dog? <laughs> Is high voltage kind of genius? I don't think he is not. Ooh! Oh, not close enough! You knocked out those guys now. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it from here since where he was at. Same time like battle spec. I move those guys out of the way, so I don't have to waste my time running back and forth. One more try. Oh, so close. He joins with battle spec. Alright. Reset it. Speed the process. Okay, now we've only got three cars from each team. Let's find out, uh, let's start off with Team Teco first. Actually, not Team Teco, let's see, uh, Team Metal Maniacs. Let's start it up from here. We have Riveted. Could be a great track car. We'll see what he does on each circuit. We need one Team Metal Maniac to survive. Jack Hammer didn't do really well, but let's see what he can do. Oh, not enough speed. Almost about to join up with this section. What a great run. Almost uh, lost the stand over here. Can we fix it? Come on. I don't want to sit here to have too much time uh, thinking about it's going to be, uh, this video is going to take one hour. Okay, riveted. You get another chance. Go! Ah! Oh, airborne over the track. Aw, oh, man. That's a bummer. Alright, last try. Can't handle the curve. We're gonna leave him here. That's a good spot uh, where um, where this guy is at. Reset. All right, let's put it back up. Now let's go ahead and do team racing drones. Let's go ahead and do RDO six. Same color from the uh, from the racing drones uh, base color on acceleracer car. Also, oh, they villain. Yeah, these this guy is a bad guy. Here we go. Rdo six, go. Smooth run. Oh, he got stuck right there. Maybe he's out of gas. He was not ready to go. What happened? Come on, RDO6, you better well get your teammate on. Come on. Go. Uh oh. A little bit tumble flying out here. Back right down here with the catapult, that's not going to count. One more try. Make it. And he does all the way round successful.
five cars made it through. RDO6 has got three right now. Right down there. Can you see it? Yep, right down there. RDO6 got another one. Uh, Drift Tech made it through. Carbide. All five cars are in the line. But let's go ahead and now do team silencers. Here we have is our radium. Metal base. Hmm. What problem? I don't know what the problem's going to be. I think he could be out of gas right now. Same thing like Cold Flight did. I don't know if he's going to be successful making all the way. Oh, smooth run. Can he make it? Not bad at all. Another car from Team Silencers has entered its way to the finish spot. Six cars made it through. Two Team Silencers has made it all the way to the hoop. Three cars in Team Racing Drones made it through. And only one Team Techo from the ad lane. Let's bring back another Team Techo. We have his uh, Synchro. Could be alright to do the car. But let's find out if he joins this drift tech. Sick. Go! Oh, I think he might be. I think he's skidding on the uh, on the Wii console disc. Yeah, he was skidding right there too soon. Two more to go. Ah, oh, fancy. He's a little bit high off the track. That means for his tail, I think his the air, when the car was coming in, his wing, he's flying upwards. He's not coming straight down the track. He's not kind of like uh, going flat. He's a little bit up wide, but he's not doing really well to get the track right on the target. If he can't just get there in time, that means he gets, he gets under... Um, off the track from the loop. That means the booster gripped them high up the air. That's time for you, Synchro. Synchro, he joins with Tech, though. I'm sorry, Drift Tech. All the way to Team Techos has made it all the way to course. Right now, Synchro's with uh, Drift Tech. Now let's go ahead and bring back. Let's go ahead and, uh, we only got two cars left from each team. Now let's bring back the Metal Maniacs, the uh, ultimate car, this amazing silver chrome racer Howlback. Yep, looks very nice. I think he could do better than, he, than Riveted did. Let's see if he does it. Oh, skits across. This booster is giving him some trouble grinding up the car. I don't know what's happening with this car that time. He could be going airborne. Yep. Yeah. He's doing it too soon. That means uh, the two, uh, two car might be having too much with, the, to, with this guy. Last try. 
And the booster won't save him. That's it. Sorry, Rivet. Sorry, Hollowback. You wound up with Jackhammer. Once again, no Team Metal Maniacs made it all the way yet. Unfortunately, I don't have any other cars left already. Now let's do go back to racing drones. Let's uh, let's bring out this kind of a car, RD08. A little bit un uneven right now. I don't know what he will do. He might be all right. Let's find out if he gets all the way to the course. Better not be slamming right up on Hollowback. Come on! Oh, he did the same thing like RDO6 does. Kind of close enough to get from here. Alright. Two left to go. Oh, didn't make it from here. One more try, RDO8. And boom! That's the course! Nice run for all of the Team Acceleracer cars here. And now let's bring up the Team Silencers. Let's go with Nitrium. A little gold off here on the hood. Might be clear side, but he's all right to get there through. If he can do it, and he might get it right. Here we go, Nitrium. Oh, he gets sliced up already. Kind of go flying high. Second attempt for Nitrium. Uh oh, he gets fancy. Hey, he's a little bit on the side right now. Don't let Exilium know that you're here. plastic car, but he might be in the right shape. Can't forget that stand over there. I'll mark it from here. This is where he was at. Last attempt. so close. I can't believe it. I thought Nitrium was going to make it all the way too. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Those cars could be no match by the cube. This might be very shockful to get this right. Alright. I gotta keep it going right now. I don't want to keep uh, wasting any time right now. Some big, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely like run all over the place. You, you don't want to see me go sweating. Each track I'm going to, uh, to reset everything up. I know everybody's doing all right. This guy, I'm having trouble. The pig is not going to not gonna last it long. If he flies up again, then you know, you know I can't help him with that guy anymore. <sighs> all right. Next team tackle car we have is Spectite. One thing for Spectite, I'm not sure. He could be high up on the tail. I don't know if that car is going to work on the course. He might make it. Oh, yes. Get in here. And Spectite joins the party.
All right, so right now we only got the last last cars left from each team. Let's go ahead and start off with Team Teco. Bass line. Not, no, not baseline. Bass line, Mark. Come on. Are you trying to be serious? <sighs> it's pronounced with an S, not with an E. Jeez. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars. Ten cars made it through. Hold on, let me try, try that again. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's ten cars. Nine cars. Unbelievable. This might be going much out of room. Let's see if Bass Line can do it. Make it! Oh! Out of gas again. Maybe because of the the knockout right down there. He's putting out, he's slowing down a bit, losing control. Oh, that was a nice run. Now, I'm not going to do it again because, because I'll be wasting too much time. But let's see if Fast Line does it again. Here we go. Oh! He doesn't want us to move up again. Sorry about that. Mark it from here. Final attempt. Uh, swarms up. Goodbye. Have a good day. You go a little bit close in the blue. It won't count. Racing drone. We have RDO nine. One problem is he's got a little bit of spike on the back. Can he can he just like make a zoom out of it? I don't know. Let's see what he could do. Oh! He gets a little bit fancy. His booster, I think the tail's right here. I think from the tail he might I think he was grabbing high up in the track. He could he was like slamming so hard on the track. That means for him, he's like not doing anything. I don't know what's going on with this vehicle. Mm. Mm. Oh. Whoop. Last try. We're already a nine. Go. That's it. Three times is enough. A little bit off the track. Two cars left. Technidium and Spinebuster. But let's go ahead and start with Technidium first. He's a little bit skinny. He is a small car. A little miniature, uh, miniature vehicle. He could be good. I think he might be ready to go. Let's see. Alright Technidium. Let's see if you can beat this down. Wow. Oh, he's flying. Flying from the loop here. I can understand that. Uh, I'm getting hot right now. After uh, after I do all those cars, then we'll do the finale by the, by the uh, finishing group. Set, go. Uh-oh, gets warmed up again. Car Booster's having too much power here for this tech medium car. That's why he's the two booster loop might be too much speed. One more try. And can I get the right spot? This is where our skiing was at. Last but not least. Danny Metal Maniac, your favorite car, Mark. Spine Buster. You like it? You like it? I know you do. You better love this car. Unfortunately, I don't know about this guy. 
I think the tail might get jammed up by this by that uh, looping launch. We'll see if the Team Metal Maniac car can make it all the way around without crashing. Here we go, last car up, Spine Buster. Wipe out. Curve right here is giving him too much tight turns. Two to go. Again, again. Can he make it? Wow, spine buster with no problem at all. Here are your 10 finishers. I'll be right back to finish the finale. Here are your 10 finisher cars that have passed the course all the way around. We're going to go ahead and do the finale. All right, folks, let's uh, go out the cars. Here we go. All right, move it up, move it up, move it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, everything's in order. Make sure everything gets there first. Only one Team Metal Maniac car has made it all the way around successful. Looking very sharp. All right, everybody's in place. Everything set up. I won't do. Uh, I'm not gonna do the uh, picks right now because I'm not going to run around sweating like this. Here we go. Finale. Cardio eight. Here we go. Uh oh. What happened? Oh man. What happened over here? Well. He doesn't want to do it again. Oh well, too bad. Here, put this curve right here. Six. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, what happened? Stop! Stop showing up. Get out of the wheel. Get out of my way. I already told you not to be coming up here too loose. You would have made the win too. An audio two. Ah, no. Ah, dang it. Oh, what happened? Look at that! Excellent! Spec type! You definitely did it, did it too! Keep growing! Aww! Car bag! Wow, he's speeding! Iridium! Aww! Iridium! That's fine, Buster. I'm sorry. Get out of here. Nice. There you go. That's the. That's gonna be the today's. Uh, that's gonna be the end for this video of the Accelerators. I hope you all enjoy your cars and have fun with your toys. And if you like to see more, subscribe. Also, follow me on my social media, and there are also links in the description as well. Anyways, I hope everybody's enjoying their, uh, your, uh, your school for the start. Yep, the start already. That's like a final part to finish it off. Anyways, I'm out of here. So, so long, everyone. This is Son of Beast signing out. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Can't reach it.
bad are you? All right, I'm out. Bye-bye. Oops, forgot those cars. Mmm. Oh well. We're just gonna have we're just gonna do this course here. That's a shame. Thank you. Well, he doesn't want to do it.